back to this. Okay, it's in slowly it's not. Hi. Hey, can I read again? Let's see. Joyce, right? I see Joyce. Hi, Joyce. I am not feeling good. I have. Uh, I'm trying to get a good. Um, I have such a horrible, horrible. Oh, uh, thank you so much. I have <sighs> such a horrible stomach bug. like so violent like I don't even know I don't even know what to do it's so it's so horrible I gotta see if I can fix this I don't know how much of this I don't know you see me it's too dark hi it's so dark I'm so sorry oh can you see a little bit of me oh god I'm so sick hi oh my god Oh my god. I honestly felt like this was maybe um thank you. I honestly felt like <sighs> like it was food poisoning. I didn't even know. I really this hit me like a ton of bricks like one, two, three. I mean I woke up this morning. I wish I could get more light in here. Let me see if I I'm gonna see if I can make this lighter. Let me let me put this down so you don't see my boobs. Hold on. Sit right there. Oh my god. <laughs> it kills. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my I can make this higher. Maybe if I could sit up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Oh, orientation's locked. What am I doing? Can you guys see me? Oh god, I feel like you're... Okay, can you see me? Thumbs up if you got... I feel like it should be this way. Orientation is locked. Rotate device back. What the hell? Oh, so anyway. Hi, you see me? Hi, Becky. So... Yeah, this morning, I want to see if this, it's going to kill me. I'm going to get a freaking chair. Maybe if I sit down. Man, where is my tripod? Ooh. Hold on. Just come with me. Well, I feel okay. Hold on. Don't, don't kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. I just wasn't set up to go live. I just, it was like a whim that I did. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can set this up somehow. I don't know how I'm doing this. But I'm going to do it. It's not going to be the best angle. Oh, okay. This is not bad. Okay. I look like I'm about 80, but that's okay. Ah, hi guys, how many people eat? 25. So, yeah, this morning I woke up. I was feeling a little queasy this morning. And I went to go make my usual coffee. First thing I do in the morning, I don't even brush my teeth. I go for my coffee. Thank you. These are Versace. Don't think of me as like a stuck-up person with Versace. This is my first design of glasses, seriously. <laughs> And I got them half price. Anyway, I went 
to drink my coffee. And as soon as I took two sips, all of a sudden I started getting really, really, really sick. Um, and then the pain started in my stomach so, so, so bad. And then um, I felt like I had to throw up. And Dennis was at his aunt's house this morning. Jesse was out at... um at a designer runway thing that she was doing makeup for. The two little ones were sleeping. I called up my sister and I'm like, listen, just stay on the phone with me. Do not hang up. Do not ask me if I'm feeling okay. Just, I need you to be there for me. You can put the phone down. I just need to know that you're there, God forbid. I, I, um, I pass out, that's how I felt. She heard me screaming with this pain that only lasted literally, you guys, like for one minute, like it was a, I, I can't even describe, it just felt like somebody went in and, and grabbed my organs and just twisted them just for like a second and then let go of them and then it was fine. And then I started heaving and heaving and nothing was coming out. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been dealing with all day. I'm sure you're going to see the pain that I'm in because it sneaks up on me. And uh, it really sucks because tonight, um, my cousin Amanda put together, who's rating, hi, you all, oh, Patrice, oh, I love you, honey. Thank you. Um, tonight was supposed to be, it was a plans night. My, my cousin Amanda planned a night for all us cousins, cousins and our husbands and stuff <clears throat> to get together because we never see each other except at funerals, not even at weddings. Nobody's get married anymore, um, but at funerals. And... I planned on doing this. I was so excited. I was going to film for you guys. And then that said, this morning I was screwed. And my cousin Amanda, who set it up, she also has a stomach bug. So, yeah, we're home. Who is Lola? Is that you? So, that's what I'm doing on this beautiful Saturday night. Yes. I have my water. I have my crackers. <laughs> and. The one thing you cannot I got my bags ready baby I got my bags ready <laughs> not that anything is going to come out because I have been eating so I just told Dennis to please bring me up a thing of water because let me tell you I have not been drinking all day so I'm feeling dehydration set in mm. hi guys this is the best I felt all day because I'm here with you guys seriously no joke. I'm scratching my ass because I'm itchy. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know where this came from, but it's here. Let me see. Am I missing anything here? Oh, wait, live chat. Live messages all over the room. Um, take to that. Okay, there's my life. Drink it slowly. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm going to do. I had a little bit of ginger ale. Um, yeah, a little sip of the water. Mm. I heard somebody coming. So sorry, it's the worst feeling. Oh, mm -mm. Terrible, I felt bad for the kids because they heard me screaming. At first they didn't hear me screaming. Then when they woke up and I was just screaming. Hi, Violet. Hi. Um, other than the stomach bug, how have you been lately? Very good. I've been busy. It's been, you know, tax week and just getting all that shit. Gallbladder had removed. Um, you know, it's just, it was a very, it was, it was a stressful week. I've been dealing with a friend of mine, um, for the past two weeks, giving her a lot of my attention, a lot of my time being a friend, listening to her, and, you know, so that was, like, my main priority, to be with her, so, thank you, Violet, so I had to put this on hold for a little bit, I hope you guys understand, I mean, you know, my, my friends, my, my friends, my physical friends are, they're like my family, they are, you know, besides my kids and my immediate family, they are right after them, and anytime they need me, I got to be there. That's the way it is, you know? So everything shuts down sometimes, and that's, you know, that's the way it is. 
But after this shit is done, I'm back. I can't deal with this. I don't really count. Dennis is making me. I'm going to show you. I you can see. Oh, my. Maybe you can. Okay. See, this whole wall is about the same size as this wall. That whole wall. So what he's doing, we're getting rid of this. So if anybody wants this dresser, I mean, it's old, but it's in perfect condition. Getting rid of this dresser. I'm going to set up my YouTube corner over there. So this way I have, hi, this way. Yes, I will go to the ER tomorrow if this doesn't let up. But I, um, yeah, I'm going to set up a YouTube corner over there. My ring light is going to be set. Everything's going to be set up. I'm going to paint the wall. I told Dennis, this is what I want. This is my Valentine's Day present. And that's it. This is what I want. I want the wall white. I want it to be nice, fresh, and clean. I want to have like little things in back. I, mean, I just want to make it really, really nice so that when you watch my videos, it just seems that like you don't see a messy, oh my God, my pain, a messy bed or an elliptical full of clothes and all that shit. So that's on my, uh, that's on my agenda. So we're going to wait until we get our tax money back. I'm not going to do that. You know? Uh, I feel so messed up. Mm -mm -mm. It's like I can't. I can't even smell this. Mm. I had peanut butter before, and I was like, it tasted so good, but uh, it was going down. And I was like, this is not good. So, how about this Jussie, ah, Jussie Smollett thing? I have been so into it all week. All week I've been watching it. Why don't I see anything? I feel like I'm in my chats. Mm. I don't chat. Uh -huh. Okay. Unless nobody's talking to me. <laughs> give me a heart or give me the number one if you're still here. Let me see that you're here. I don't usually film with it this way. It's usually this way, so I don't really get to see the chats. Right? There we go. We got a chat. We got Nancy. Oh, my name. Ah, guys, I love you so much. I really do. Can't see shit anymore. Look at this. I can't. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I just watched a movie before with Dennis. We watched, well, I watched half of it. Den of Thieves. Oh, what? It looked so, so, so good. So I'm hoping that... Um, Maybe tomorrow, I guess I'm from the beginning, I'll watch up. Hopefully my my belly hurts. No, not hopefully my belly hurts. Hopefully I feel better. But anyway, are you guys wait? Was she right? Oh, Lord, I'm so done with Jesse. Oh, Violet, that's so messed up. What's up, young lady? I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Joe. I'm going to feel better. But get back to that, Jesse Smollett. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. I feel so bad for the black community. I feel bad for the transgender community, the LBGTQ. I don't even know. I get messed up. Please don't hold that against me. But every time I go through the letters, I'm like, okay, I messed it up. You know what I'm talking about. He ruined it for them. Ruined it for his brothers and sisters. I mean... Especially Black History Month. Like, what is wrong with you? I don't, I just don't understand what he, what was in your mind. Like, it just, it just really, 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 it, it, it hurt me a lot. I really did. And I'm not black. I'm not gay or whatever. It hurt me as a person, as a human, how somebody can just make up such a lie like that. It's just, I don't know. Oh, it was terrible. And, you know, all those people that do end up getting involved, victims of hate crimes. What? Now, everybody has to sit back and say, well, did it really happen? You're supposed to believe someone when they're a victim. You're supposed to believe them off the bat. Now, what are they going to do? Just, like, second guess it? And it shouldn't be because of idiots like him. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. It's horrible. What is 
Ikea. Why is it you guys are making me feel better. I swear I came up here as a dean. I said I'm going live. Got my ladies. The ladies I gotta talk to. Um and, and this is not good for my diabetes, but there is literally nothing for me to eat. I might eat pasta. I can't have pasta. Mmm. He said he wanted more publicity because he said, well, oh, please. Mm. He should have to do time for that because that's bullshit. Bullshit. How do you do that? You have 12 detectives working around the clock. How do you do that? In that time, so many more innocent people are being victimized. For being gay, for being black, for being black and gay, for being transgender, or just just a normal person on the street that is, you know, just like when I say normal, please, you know what I mean. But just anybody, there, there was just recently a one-year-old that was shot in the head from the car. Like, come on, and 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 these detectives have to be on this bullshit when there's a baby over here. I just don't understand it. It's just. It hurts. It really does. It hurts so much. This is just terrible. It's disgusting. I know. And I said, I said it, I said it, I told, I don't even know who I told, but I said, he's going to say that he was on drugs. And sure enough, today in the paper, it says, you know, he has an unrelated drug problem. Bullshit. That's a bull. That's because he does not, like, I think he's going to say, Oh, I need rehab. I need rehab. He's full of it. He's full of it. Because that's the last the last thing you grab. Uh-uh. I'm not buying it. No. No, brothers are saying. Let me see. The brothers are saying, no, we sold him ecstasy. Really? I don't buy it. I don't think he would either. It's absurd. Total waste. And, oh, my girl, the boogie ass. I love your Instagram. Let me tell you, you have me laughing today, girls, so much. But let's get back to, wait, what were we saying about um, Jesse? Jesse, yes, it's called greed. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And like I said, I know he's going to put his ass in a rehab. Uh-oh. His castmates want nothing to do with him. Nothing. He had to change his number. He went back over there. Um, basically, they were like ignoring him. Ignoring him. They don't want him there. They don't want him there because they supported him. As soon as this happened, they supported him. And they feel like idiots. They feel like fools. And he's still maintaining his innocence. Just give it up. Give it up. That's it. Give it up. So. I look terrible, right? Horrible. Horrible. I'm going to take down my hair. Mm. I can bring home the bacon right up in a pan. <laughs> it's probably so matted from, I don't know, from me laying on it all day. Oh, come on. Hi, my name is June. Welcome. <laughs> to the June Penny Show. Hmm. Oh my God, let me my head spin. Yes. Look, you can tell it's matted. I've been laying on this shit all day. All day long. Mm -hmm. But I know some of you have been inboxing me about um. No track frontals and getting some orders out for you. I have not really been on the computer too long, like to send you the color spot and the prices. And I will, I promise you, I will. I'll get on it as soon as I feel better. Right now, we feel so good just sitting here. What is she saying? Wait, wait, wait. Carol King. Hey, Carol King. When it first came out, it stunk fishy. What are we talking about? Oh. With him, I believe people should should live like they want. And in peace. There's good people, bad people, stupid people. My best is funny people. I'm a funny person. 
him not so much. And what a good looking guy. Good looking guy. They got the world. Oh, who texted me? Got the world by the cognoni cojones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you doing that. I'm not saying if you weren't a good looking guy that, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, but come on. I mean, so many things going for you and you do something so stupid like that. And I know, you know, a lot of my friends on Facebook don't say anything. Because when I post something, you know, listen, I grew up with black, Puerto Rican, Chinese, Russian, I mean, Mexican. I grew up in like my area, my schools were all melting pots. My friends are all different ethnicities. So I don't want to hear like, oh, she's racist. No, it has nothing to do with the race. Um, forgot what it was going to come at. Oh, but when I go on my YouTube and if something happens with a white person, all my black friends will get on there and go, see, see, now if this was a black person, this, and I'm like, and I don't get involved in it because they are my friends and it's their channel and I won't get involved in it. So I just look at it and I'm like, all right. All right, let me just shut up. But when this came out, I put up a few things about Jesse Smollett. And, um, you know, same, same kind of respect that they did not put anything on my page. I was hoping that they did. I wanted them to be on my side and I feel like they are on my side, but, but I just felt like they, they're embarrassed. And yeah, I mean, they should be me, white, Mexican, whoever I am, I'm embarrassed too, just as a human that he would do something like that, especially his family believed him. I'll post that. Mm -mm. But to tell you the truth, I would have went out for a Subway sandwich at 2 a.m. I'm just saying. I would have. So I didn't think that was unbelievable. People were like, why are you going to go down at 2 a.m.? It's freezing. I've been going to stores even in colder weather, please. Especially if there's nothing there. But um, that's that. How many people we got here? And see, guys. Mm. How many? 24. How about 24? What have you guys been doing? Like, what is the highlights of your weekend? What, like, what's going on? Did you do anything today? Was it nice by you? I know it's been snowing in California and Arizona. Here, oh my gosh, knock on wood. Like, I'm gonna, my dog is gonna bark. And knock on wood. There's hardly been any snow. It's been amazing. And we only have, I think, 26 days left of uh, of winter. I don't like the way that this is. I feel like... Mm -hmm. Can't see. Remember to guard your privacy. There we go. Hi, June. Hope you feel better. Hey, I gotta go to bed. Listen to my aunt Deb. Go sleepies. Met and peace. I can't wait to see these. Hi, MV. Hi, honey. Just bumming today, huh? Me too. I just hope my pain don't come back. I'll be kind of happy if it don't. Trace. <laughs> Still cleaning. Oh, yeah. Up the snow. Ugh. I hate that snow. I really do. I'm so bloody hot in Australia now. I'm staying inside with air conditioning. Do you know that there is not... Oh, what pain? Oh, MV, please. I have stomach virus all day. I'm eating crackers and water to hydrate myself because I feel like I'm getting dehydrated. I feel like I'm drying out. Everything's drying out. Um... What was I just saying? Oh, about air conditioning. This is the second winter that I have not closed my windows in my bedroom. I get I get no cold air from my bedroom windows. I don't know why. No fun. <laughs> yeah. It is no fun. I'm eating. I feel like I mean wood. I mean really. 
I have put a little butter on it. I'm just looking for tea. I have no more tea. All the kids eat my tea, so eat my tea. Get it? Drink my tea. Um, and that's it. I'm going to be going to bed soon. Um, is anyone, thank you, is anybody watching? We had two shows. There was one show called You on Netflix. Give me a number one if you're watching that. I'll wait. Let's see if you're watching that. If you're not, you're missing, oh, you're missing a very good show. And I am watching Good Girls, which is uh, so adorable. I love it. It's good. On Netflix, you guys should watch it. Check it out. Check, check it out. Mm-hmm. 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 So far, no pain. I'm so excited. I'm going to stay in bed. Because every time I go downstairs, I get in pain. Hope you feel better and drink lots of water. Take your... I know, I know, I know. I gotta take my DE. I am. Uh, oh, I don't. Mmm. Mmm. This one, Starbucks. Isn't that pretty? It's like iridescent. Feels so good. Your hands are itchy. Feels so good. What'd she say? Watch a million. Oh, I watched a million little things. I thought tonight was the season finale. I was pissed off. I was like, that was the most boring episode. But next week is the season finale. I love it. Mm. Mm. And did you see, what's his name, Gary? When he was talking about his father, look, you would never know. He said he was Mexican. He plays Mexican. Don't look Mexican, right? Oh. Oh. Who the hell knows? Sally, we don't have star. No, you don't have Starbucks. What do you mean? Really? Wow. I don't even like Starbucks, to tell you the truth. I don't know. Too oh, this feels so good. You don't understand how it feels. <gasps> you ever wake up in the morning and your hands just feel itchy? I don't know from, like, not good blood flow. I don't know. But this feels good. Oh, I love this. Um... Yeah, Starbucks is too, it's too expensive. I'd rather with homemade, I make my Bustelo. Oh my God. I ran out of Bustelo the other day and I had Folgers in the house. Amber gave me a, a, a thing of Folgers and I made it for tennis and he knew right off the bat. And he was like, please, no more Folgers. Okay, no more Folgers. I'm trying to see what this great thing is in the back. What is that? <gasps> anyway, I'm going to be going to bed soon. I gotta do a little bit of a relax. That's what I buy, Cafe Bustel. It is the best. I don't use the little K cups. Wait, you want that cup? Wonder. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you can get this on eBay. I'm sure you could. It's so it holds a lot of water. It really does. Well, iced coffee. Mhm. Mm but get back to the Bustello. I, oh, I love it. I love it. Now, any any kind of, of coffee just tastes like candy to me. Oh, my gosh. Ever since you mentioned Bustella. Oh, uh, that's all I drink. Yeah. It's best for you to sleep now. Yes. He said, not going to bed. Yes. Resting is best for you. Sorry, you're sick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fill up. We always will okay, cake cups. Yeah, you could do that, right? Yeah, you have the the one the the one that you can use all the time. I love it. And my sister buys all that donut shop stuff. And when they go to the house, I'm like, eh, it's like cinnamon love, cinnamon cake. I don't. I want my coffee. I want Bustello coffee. I don't want to hear donuts and have um chocolate double chocolate cupcake coffee. What? No, stop. Mm -mm. Give me my coffee. Take a melatonin and crash out. Mm. So for the past two days, I didn't take Ambien. You guys know that I'm addicted to Ambien. I take it at nighttime and I get really, really slurish. I, get, I have not been remembering a thing with this Ambien. It's very scary because my daughter was like, 
just quite last week, she was like, you remember when you were sitting on the couch, you were laughing at us, me and Chris were pretending that blah, blah, blah. And I had no, recolle no recollection of what she was talking about. And I felt so stupid. I'm like, I have no clue. And she's like, remember, and you said this. And I'm like, but to her, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like water. That's how I feel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, cops. I know I'm kind of boring tonight, but I really didn't. I just really wanted to get on here. And that's a drug. I know it's a drug. I know. Ambium is a drug. Ambium is. It helped me. I've been on it for years and cannot go to sleep without it. But I've been taking my daughter's melatonin. And it takes a little bit longer for me to sleep. But I do have a good night's sleep. So I am weaning myself really off the Ambien. Um, it's not like Ambien. But it's not like Ambien, which is good. Um, I don't think I've been doing the CBD oil. I have hemp oil downstairs. I can do that because it's um it's more natural. And um that's it. I don't know. Okay. That's what it is. Melatonin and five HTP together. I have no clue what that is, but if you want to tell me. Send it to me, junepenny619 at gmail.com, please. I'll take any suggestions. I just love, I love a good night's sleep, and I can't do it without anything. Mm. What? Wait a minute. My daughter dragged me to the room when I was on the Ambien, and she said that I, that I said the room looks like noodles. Oh my god, wait a minute. I posted a video, I think, on my Facebook. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. I was totally on Ambien. And Gianna comes down and she's taping me. Because it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm sitting in the in the recliner. And she's like, Mom, Mom. And I was like, Does your mother I had no clue what the hell I was saying. She's like, Mom, we go. Was in English. <laughs> She's like, Mom, it's two o'clock in the morning. And I go, Where's Daddy? She's like, Daddy's upstairs. You gotta come up. And <laughs> I was like, His mother's. That's it. That was Ambien. I heard myself. And she films me when I sleep. And when I sleep, it is weird. It is so weird because I'll be like, Like really, really weird. Um, uh -oh, my sister just sent me a very sad face. I don't know why. She's out with my children. Why did she send me a very sad face? I'm getting nervous. Hmm. Uh, I think. I'm going to end this. I have to get in touch with them because I want to know why my sister just sent that to me. But anyway, hopefully I stay good tonight. I'm able to sleep and I'll wake up refreshed and maybe I can come back live on here with you. Wait, we just left. Aren't they tired? Um, hmm. My sister, who is 38 years old, she claims she has this fatal disease, which she does not. It's because all her friends and everybody, they like to keep continue to, continuing to go out. Like, if they go out to a bar, they want to go to another one, another one. And she's like, I'm too tired, I'm too tired. So she thinks that she's dying of something because she shouldn't be feeling tired. Jesus. Oh, I love you. Hugs, Mama. Thank you. I will feel better. I already feel. I already feel better. Thank you. Not good for diabetes. I don't know what else to say. I mean, what else can I eat? What else can I eat? Can I have soup? 
What do you think, guys? I can have soup? You know? I know I can have tea, crackers, water. What else? I need suggestions. Let me see. Ice pops. Oh, I have them downstairs. Mm hmm. That won't hurt me. The sweetness. How good sleep tonight, hun? No one tell me. Oh, I please. Okay. Thank you. Just gonna eat my cracker. Well, a nice cup of, do you mint chamomile tea? Mm -hmm. my, my heat is going on now. Chamomile, mmm. Are you still doing keto? Mm, not at the moment. <laughs> not at the moment. I'm looking to do keto in a different way, though. Because I feel like the the dairy and all that shit is getting me, ugh, I'm getting really nauseous from it. So I was going to do protein, you know, protein, eggs, veggies, nuts, seeds, um, spices that have no sugar, nothing. So it's really like no carb, no sugar. And then one, what did she just say? Salatol. It's great for tummy bug. I never heard of it, but that's good to know. Uh people in my coffee. So I'll be cutting out so much. Then on the seventh day, you can eat what you want. Even if you have diabetes, you can eat what you want. You want a McDonald's burger? Have a McDonald's burger. You want the fries too? Oh, you want a piece of cheese? Good, eat it, eat it. It resets your body, so you'll gain like two pounds. You'll gain two pounds back, but when you go back on on Sunday, you're telling your body, like your metabolism is like, well, wait a minute, this girl's starting a real heavy duty um, diet regimen, and then it starts all over. So your body, your body doesn't get used to one thing all the time. Get it? Do you got it? You got it? You got it? No, my ass on Saturday today would have been my day off. I would have been eating. I don't know, Ginger Ale helps it now. I have it downstairs. But it tastes like vomit. I'm sorry. I gotta stick with the water. I tell you, this is the first time. How long are we on here? 38 minutes. Oh, my baby, Christina. Um, I've been on here. 38 minutes and 38 minutes. I This is the first lump of time that I have felt normal. Really. It was so bad. Oh, it was so bad. But it is what it is. And um, that's it. So I'm going to go lay down. I love you all. Cousin Christina, if you want to text me, feel free. And text me. Look. Oh, come on, mommy. Text me, please. You're going to text me. When we get off of here, are you going to call me? Or are you are going to text me? Do you hear me, cousin? Please. I like to hear that. Um, for all of you out there in YouTube land, I love you all. Thank you for keeping me company. And um, I will most likely see you tomorrow. I'm going to hit the hay right now, okay? <sighs> Thank you. And if you guys have any suggestions, advice, please email me at junepenny619 at gmail.com. Thank you, the Boogie X. Keep making your Instagram posts because they just keep me going. I have so many screen screenshots of the shit you post, and I'm always sending them out to people. I love it. I love it. Anyway, you guys, I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.